Every year, 16.9 lakh students enter into college with a significant portion choosing computer science branch. However, only 3% of the CS graduates end up getting high quality tech jobs. So if this continues, it would be really difficult for a CS student to secure a good job because the competition and the number of seats for the computer science degree is just increasing every year to enhance job opportunities. The CS students are opting for computer science with specialization. Unfortunately, the colleges have commercialized this. They are creating a FOMO among the students if they don't choose the specialization. This often leaves a 12th pass student with a lot of confusion about whether to choose a computer science program or a specialized program with specialization in some of the subject. The sad reality is most of the students and parents don't have the entire knowledge about these specializations. The purpose of this video is to debunk the myths of computer science specialization and also to help students make informed decisions. So stay tuned to the end of the video. Also make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Let's get into the video. Before we start diving into this specialization, please note there are certain subjects in computer science which are common among each and every specialization that you pursue. So these subjects or topics are like any programming language, data structures, databases, operating systems, compiler design, mathematics, computer networks, etc. These will be common. Once you choose a specialization, you will have some specialized subjects coming into the picture. If you now have understood, okay, what is specialization? Now let us see if it is really important for you to choose a specialization. Yes, it is really important because in the last video of our roadmap to CS, we have mentioned that you have to learn all computer science basics and then you have to specialize or you have to go into depth in some of the field. So this is what is happening now. So if you have all of your basic fundamentals, data structures and development with basics, then your part is to specialize in some of the fields that I am mentioning now. So let us start with the specializations that are listed down with the first specialization that is artificial intelligence and machine learning. We have self-driving cars, AI tools like ChatGPT, Gemini and so many which can practically do everything starting from writing code, composing music, to generate images and also designs. Feels like AI is taking over the world and there are also so many speculations throughout the internet that AI will replace jobs and so many people are scared of it. But understand this, AI is here to augment human capabilities. And if you have a CS degree with a specialization in AI ML, then you will be at the forefront of this change. Imagine being a part of this AI revolution and contributing towards building such intelligent systems. Artificial intelligence and machine learning have so many applications from healthcare to governance to world of finance. You can find that every industry is getting benefited from the use of AI and ML. So if this really interests you and you want to be the part of this, so you must proceed your career with a computer science and a specialization of AI and ML. So to give more confidence to your decision, let me tell you with the subjects that are involved in the specialization. Starting with the mathematics, which have probabilities, statistics, discrete mathematics, calculus, etc. And then machine learning fundamentals such as supervised or unsupervised learning, reinforcement learning, etc. Then comes machine learning algorithms which have neural networks, decision trees, etc. So the global market of artificial intelligence and machine learning is rapidly increasing and currently valued at $300 billion in 2024 and expected to rise about thousand billion dollars by the time you graduate that is 2028 as per glassdoor the typical salary for a ai ml engineer ranges between 5 lakhs to 14 lakhs per annum at last just to let you know ai ml engineers at top tech companies are earning more than the software engineers working at google meta microsoft these companies just to give you a confidence these are the initial packages but the ai ml engineers working at top companies like google facebook microsoft are earning a lot more than what is mentioned above ultimately everything boils down to your skill set and that decides which kind of company you will end up getting hired at now let's move to the next boom specialization that is nothing but CS with data science. So now many of you students and parents would have confusion with this AML specialization and data science specialization. These both are same or different. So with this we are discussing about our second specialization that is computer science with data science. 
throughout the world the internet never sleeps and with more than 3.7 billion users who use the internet we generate about 330 million terabyte data every single day and this number is expected to grow exponentially in the coming years so let us understand this with an example so if you are using instagram or youtube or any other app like facebook if you have liked some of the video then that app start suggesting some of the similar kind of videos how does this youtube netflix knows which video or which title to suggest to you this is all happening because of the data that is what we are generating each and every day these suggestions are determined by your interest in these areas which varies from person to person if you are liking fun videos then youtube will always recommend the fun videos so if you hit that like button to our video then youtube will start suggesting to other people who are also looking for computer science or specialization understood so you have to hit that like button now let's move to the next example during covid governments all across the world started using data science to predict the growth of covid and this data helped governments to be prepared and also to control the pandemic up to some extent so in short if we see the data is new oil and the job of a data scientist or a data analyst is to analyze the different data points and to extract true value from those data points there are many applications of data science and is extensively used in each and every industry you can think of starting from governments to food delivery companies to social networking companies to e-commerce platform to ad techs everyone uses data science to extract meaningful information and use that insights to improve processes increase efficiency finally generating more revenue by using the data and that is the reason the demand for data scientists is just increasing so if you are someone who likes number crunching statistics and these all things which ever is discussed until now this specialization is especially for you and as per glassdoor the average salary of a data scientist ranges between 7 to 19 lakh per annum so this is all about data science now let's come to the another most interesting specialization which is cyber security and in some colleges it is also known as information technology where in past if we see there was only it information technology now there is something separated from it that is also called as cyber security so if you don't know the us government infected iran's nuclear reactors with a bomb called stunet damaging more than one fifth of iran's nuclear power it is discovered five years later it started affecting the computers of iran's nuclear facilities and this is just one example out of millions of attacks that are happening globally now given how connected we are and how everything that we do is on online the scope of cyber attacks is only increasing day by day and with that comes our specialization that is cyber security a field of cs that deals with the preventive actions that need to be taken to secure our computer systems while ethical hacking is a crucial skill in cyber security the field is not limited to ethical hacking in this branch of cs you will delve deep into cryptography the science of secure communication and learn about the secure coding practices to prevent vulnerabilities in the first place risk mitigation and management disaster recovery and legal aspect of cyber security are also part of the equation so if you are interested in hacking or ethical hacking or ever have wonder how company prevent cyber attacks then this specialization is especially for you do we add salaries if yes as per glassdoor the average pay is 4 lakhs to 10 lakhs per annum for freshers now these were the most crucial specialization for which most of the students would be interested now let's come to the next specialization that is cs with iot so iot stands for internet of things this is the ability for the inanimate objects to communicate between themselves for example If I have a Alexa right here, I can ask it, "Hey Alexa, play some music." It will play for me. "Hey Alexa, please turn off the lights." It will turn off the lights. I can also ask Alexa, "Are my viewers subscribing to my channel?" "You are not subscribed." This is unfair. Please do like and subscribe to this channel. Right? So, if we take another example, our smartwatch, which is on our wrist, it measures our heartbeat. It also measures our breathing rates and so many things, and it seamlessly shows everything on our device. So, how is this happening? this is happening because they both are communicating with themselves so this is a thing this is a object these objects are communicating with themselves with the help of internet maybe with the help of wifi or something but we take another example modern traffic lights which are embedded with sensors which allow them to control automatically based on the traffic flow so if you are someone who are really interested in combining the software and hardware then yes the internet of things is especially for you and if you see the average salaries 
as per glass door it ranges between 3 lakhs to 5 lakhs per annum it is for freshers again it depends based on your skill set job profile company and everything now let's come to another specialization that is really interesting that is cs with bioinformatics it is said that our dna holds the secret of our life and unlocking the mysteries of dna it requires the knowledge of computers and a lot of computational power you might be confused that how so to clear your doubt bioinformatics is the specialization where science or computer science meets biology and provide tools to the scientists to analyze dna and genetics and help humans understand our bodies more better there are countless applications of computers in the world of biology starting from dna tests to identifying cancer cells creating drought resistant pest resistant crops development of biofuels or producing bacteria that can eat toxic waste bioinformatics is a fascinating specialization that will equip you with the computational tools and skills to analyze vast amounts of biological data including dna sequences protein structures and gene expression patterns so if the world of technology and life coming together excites you yes this specialization is especially for you with the technologies like this which allows us to edit genes the application of such technologies are humongous but do note that this specialization bioinformatics is a relatively new field of study and is expected to grow in the coming future so if we see the average salaries as per glassdoor it ranges between 2 to 10 lakhs per annum now let's come to the last specialization that is nothing but computer science with a business system many colleges have collaborated with a tcs that is tata consultancy and services and launched a specialization called csbs this is relatively a very new branch and not much information is available throughout the internet but here is what you need to know about this branch starting with every business runs on processes and there are complex business softwares and enterprise softwares that are used to run this business and this course is designed to help learners bridge the gap between technology and business so you will be expected to learn about business how to manage stakeholders understand system design program management and most importantly build the skills that can possibly help you work better at TCS since it is a program designed by TCS most of the students enrolling in this program may be trained on the requirements that TCS has and when it comes to placements high chances that you will be placed at TCS or similar IT service company the average salary for a fresher in TCS ranges between 3.5 to 5 lakhs and in my opinion if you are not really into businesses or something you should avoid taking this branch if you are interested in business and cs you can choose to learn about businesses by interning at some other tech companies or through some other courses but if you want to join tcs or similar it companies and want a stable career then yes this is the right choice for you now these are most important specialization in computer science but if we deep dive into all of the specialization as i discussed the colleges outside have commercialized themselves to increase the number of seats they started inventing new specialization in computer science which never existed many colleges would have many other specializations like like computer science design which is also known as csg but i have heard from some of the students of that branch that those students of computer science design even having the name of computer science in their branch they are not even allowed to sit in the placements with the computer science students so whenever or whatever decision that you are taking regarding this specialization regarding your career you should be really very careful so please do note whatever i am saying now so the decision to choose a specialization or a branch in computer science should be backed with the intense research and you should do an in depth analysis and also check the job opportunities and the future of the career that you are choosing so here are some few final tips from our side which will really help you in choosing your specialization first of all ask yourself what are you interested in and try to see which branch resonates with you after this try to do a in depth analysis and also to check the curriculum or the specialization or the branch that you are choosing because there might be some colleges which might have different curriculum for different specializations but basically if you are into aml or data science then it would be clear that you should be interested in mathematics statistics probability and these all things if these are something that are not of your interest then machine learning and data science is not a branch that you should pick right so this is the second tip and coming to the final tip that is look for the future of the career or the job opportunities that you will be getting at the end of your college because that is what matters more if you are choosing some branch like csg that is design and you are not even interested in design 
but you are just getting that branch for the sake of the name that is computer science and at the end of your college you will realize that you are not even allowed to sit at the placements with the computer science students it would be really bad so the last step would be understand the job opportunities that are available for that particular specialization so these are the three specific things that you should keep in mind while doing your research and it would really help you in choosing your specialization wisely and now as we are talking about specialization why not talk about the scalar school of technology which is also providing the specialization to students first of all if you don't know at scalar school of technology we have a four year computer science program where we teach you on all the subjects and topics that are required for the industry by the industry mentors which will help you to become a top class engineer coming to specialization in the final year these students have a choice to choose between several specializations like artificial intelligence and machine learning or algo trading or monk track or engineering leader track information would be clearly visible on the screen or you can also check out the website for more in-depth information now there is a reason why our students opt for their specialization after their paid internship because during their first year they might not have in-depth knowledge about each and every specialization and it would really help them or not so that is the reason we train our students on basic fundamentals and everything that is really required to become eligible for an internship and then they have a one year compulsory paid internship they will understand what actually is required in the industry so based on this these students are now more confident while choosing their specialization in the fourth year and finally ending up with a good career so if you are someone who is looking to make your career in computer science and you are really passionate about computer science then you may want to check out the scalar school of technology and that is all about the specializations and if this video really helped you and if you really liked it then please share this video with that one friend who could use the information in this video and make informed choice for his career so that is all about this video if you have any doubts any suggestions or any further requirement for videos please do comment in the comment section also comment watch till the end thanks for watching let's meet in another video bye bye